What up everybody? So last week I talked about going back to therapy and I had some people like, hey, hopefully everything's okay. I'm gonna pray for you. Um, you know, hopefully everything's okay. Like all this stuff. And it's just like, yo, I'm good, man. Like life's good, work's good, friends good. I'm eating good, I'm staying hydrated. Life is good, you know what I'm saying? So I just wanna segue into staying motivated and staying creative, you know what I'm saying? I have a sales job, I'm selling HR tech right now, right? And what that means is my job is very mundane. I do the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, you know what I mean? And so this is the only way to actually get into my creative aspect, right? I used to make beats back in the good old days and it was very fun, but I like expressing myself. I like doing this daily vlog stuff. It's like a, it's like a diary almost, right? But I get to edit, I get to put music in the background, I get to show you my life, and I have fun with it, you know what I mean? So, just wanna let you know that I'm fine, uh, and I just wanna share some things with you that I'm gonna be doing in the future. So, it seems to me that you guys like more of the vlog stuff, so I'm gonna double down on that and just share what's going on in my life. Some weeks are gonna be a little bit more boring than others, than others, I can't even talk, but, you know, I want you guys to just follow me on this journey uh, because I, I truly enjoy it. And when you guys comment and share ideas, it just makes me feel more connected to you. So I really appreciate that. I'm not here to get anything. I'm just literally documenting my life. You guys know that I'm very comfortable on camera. Um, and I think it's I think it's actually very healthy for me to express myself, right? Um, I'm definitely learning how to just connect a little bit more in general. Uh, therapy's working. I'm already feeling a lot lighter within one week. Um, and yeah, so, you know, that's all I got. Just wanted to keep you guys updated. So let's get started. Still got the Invisalign in my mouth. So I'm gonna be talking weird, but. So I downloaded this new app, it's called The Rise. It's a sleep app. And I track all my sleeping activity from my Apple Watch. And it really goes off of like, your circadian rhythms and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. I'll explain it later. All right, so I just got off of work. It's time for me to head to the convention center. This is gonna be my second workout of the day. Um, so I'm gonna run the stairs and then I'm gonna walk around Seaport Village. 
for around 45 minutes and then I'm gonna come back home and wind down for the day. One more to go. Coming to an end like Legato. Niggas get chipped like Sicado. Send a wave through the hood. Now it's sounding like Verado. Why you eat bread with avocado? Uh. <sighs> All right, so I'm not that big. I don't do a lot of cardio, so I'm a little out of breath. <sighs> <laughs> Say hi to my friend Zara. She's the one that pushed me to do 75 hard. We're on this beautiful bridge right now. Let's see how many minutes we got in. We're about 35 minutes in. And uh, yeah, I'm breathing like I got asthma. She is too, but it's all good. We got it in, another day down. Let's get it, let's get it. So I just got back from the stairs. You guys just met my friend Zara. Uh, we've been friends for a little while um, and it feels good to get that cardio in uh, yeah I mean I go to the gym and I just do like the traditional weights so this is a really good thing for me because um, it's gonna help me get a little bit more cut up help me out with my cardiovascular and yeah just it kind of feels good to like switch it up a little bit and do an overall workout right I'm hitting all aspects muscle now cardio um, and just activating some of those muscles that I haven't activated in a while. So definitely proud of myself. Let me know uh, if you haven't joined the 75 hard yet. Um, if you haven't, it's no big deal, but let's get everybody involved. You guys know this is my favorite part of the day sunset kind of missed it already uh, a little bit of overcast right now uh, but you know this is like my rooftop I used to go to the roof all the time because I had a little studio I never had a patio but now I got a big old patio and so I can like just unwind and have that peace that peace of mind towards the end of the day <clears throat> yeah this is one of the main reasons why i moved to san diego you know you got a little bit of that city life you got the water you got the uh, lifestyle which is like a little bit more laid back it's still active you can still kind of dress up and go downtown and do your thing so um i really love it down here and i don't know if i'm going to live downtown the rest of my life um but i definitely want to settle in san diego somewhere right so Stay tuned, maybe I'll vlog that when I buy my house out here. Uh, but yeah, uh, San Diego, fun fact, is the number one most expensive city right now in the, in the United States, which is pretty nuts because when I moved here in 2020, uh, that wasn't the case. Um, it's still expensive, it was still expensive then, but uh, yeah, inflation and just everything else just made San Diego very, uh, expensive to live but can't complain you know what I'm saying because this place is beautiful <laughs> 